What we have here today is going to change gaming PC building forever. This is the MSI Project Zero gaming PC, and our friends at MSI were nice enough to sponsor this video to showcase what is going to be the future of PC building because cable management is going to never look cleaner. With MSI Project Zero, they're taking this really clean motherboard design to the mainstream by putting all the power connectors on the back of the motherboard and also offering cases that support these motherboards, making for an all-inclusive setup that makes your build look super clean. So big shout out again to MSI for sponsoring this video. We're gonna put together our first Project Zero gaming PC and show you guys how clean it can actually turn out. And they were nice enough to send over all these other parts to showcase as well. So let's not waste any more time and talk about the parts that are going to this build and put it together. To start things off, we have the i7-14700K. This is a 20 core, 28 thread processor from Intel, 14th gen, latest and greatest. It's gonna be amazing in this build. MSI also is nice enough to send over this MSI Mag Core Liquid E360. This is a 360 mil AIO that is ARGB and it is going to look so sleek inside this build. For the RAM, we have some very nice Corsair 32, Oh, I have it sideways, my bad. <laughs> 32 gig DDR5 at 6,400 megahertz. This is two sticks, so it's gonna be dual channel. It is RGB, so it is gonna look super nice in this build. And for storage, we have a Crucial T500. This is a Gen 4 two terabyte SSD, and this has some really fast speeds, guys. Look at that. 7,400 megabytes per second. That doesn't really get much faster than that. And for the motherboard, we have the MSI Project Zero Z790. This is a pretty high-end motherboard that is obviously not your traditional motherboard because you have the connectors on the back of the board. That includes fan headers, USB 3, the 24 pin, the CPU 8 plus 8 pin. So everything you could possibly need is going to be on the back of the motherboard. And you do have quite a bit of upgrade and expansion for the future on this board as well. Now for the graphics card. Of course, when we're going with the 14700, K, we had to go with a high-end GPU. This is the 4070 Ti Super from MSI, the Gaming X Slim model, which is a three-fan card, looks really clean, has some RGB baked in, and with the 14700K, we'll have no problems playing 1440p and entry-level 4K gaming if we want to. Now, speaking of a ton of power, this right here is the MSI Mag A1000G PCI 5.0 power supply. It's ATX 3.0 PCI 5 ready, so it'll be perfect for our 4070 Ti Super with that single connector, and uh, 1,000 watts is plenty for this build. Room for upgrading the future, you can go with the even higher end GPU if you want to. And uh, yeah, really awesome power supply from MSI that has some heft to it. Very, very well built. Now the case that makes MSI's Project Zero work is this case, the Meg Maestro 700L, which is a really awesome case with tempered glass, very awesome build quality. And we're gonna be packing it full with their MSI Mag F120 ARGB fans that will match the AIO fans that we do have. And all in all, this is gonna be an interesting project. I'm curious to see what the build turns out like having all the connectors on the back of the motherboard and how easy it is to build. Maybe it's easier than building a normal PC, but we're not gonna know until we get to building. So let's get started and dive into some benchmarks. All right, gamers, we're kicking things off with Warzone 3.0 on 1440p, balance settings, no upscaling needed, because again, we got a 4070 Ti Super, and as you can see in the warm-up lobby, getting 200 plus FPS, looking really freaking smooth. A few dips below that, but overall, a good gaming experience so far with this configuration. I mean, with the 14700K and this GPU, no problem playing esports titles or higher end esports titles like this at a high refresh rate experience. I really do think 1440p is the sweet spot. You could play 4K if you want to. It's definitely capable, but getting a 1440p like 240 hertz monitor with a PC like this, absolutely perfect. All right. But if you know anything watching the Toasty Bros, the better the PC, the worse we perform in games. We're just so used to playing on budget PCs that these higher end builds, we absolutely struggle. So let's see if I can change that. 
Got him. Oh. Oh. Oops, someone's on me. Ah ha ha! Sorry, bud. He tried. Oh! I think I found him! Oh! Yeah, run! Oh, no! Don't! No, you son of a... Did I really get shoot out of the sky? Anywho, that's Warzone. That was kind of fun. You know, I fist fought somebody, you know, got a couple kills, ran absolutely beautifully on this PC, and I got shot out of the sky without even replaying. That's the game for you. Move on to the next one. All right, guys, we are playing Halo Infinite Max FOV. We have a unlocked frame rate. We're at 1440p high setting preset, and we're looking pretty good so far. Pretty dang good. Example of another high-end AAA title that definitely pushes the system to its limits, and this is performing very well. We're definitely getting the high refresh rate that we desire. Until you would. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, buddy. As I watch my teammate die. <laughs> Oh, got him. Skater Boy Revenge. Needler, needler, needler! Oh my oh. god, that guy was moving fast. Oh no. Oh, oh my oh. god, how did he just know oh, I was coming? They knew. This PC made it too easy. And there's no cables! No cables whatsoever. No cabales. Um, but yeah, performance is good. Halo is awesome. Warzone was fun. It performed very well. I guess we can run 3D Mark Time Spy, assume the simple point is, but Project Zero so far looking pretty cool. All right, guys, we just got done testing this new innovation, and as you could probably guess based on the specs and the price, it performed really well. In 1440p, you will have no problems playing any game you want at higher settings and getting high refresh rate. And to prove that to you, we tested a couple other games. We actually launched Hell Divers 2 at 1440p ultra settings using DLSS, got 100 plus FPS, no problems whatsoever. Same thing in Cyberpunk, even with ray tracing enabled. Ultra settings with frame gen, we got 136 FPS average. And our 30 mark time spy score was a score of 23,577, which was a 12 cent per point score. But that was kind of to be expected. This is a newer technology that's gonna be a bit premium in terms of the price point. But if you're somebody who absolutely loves super clean builds, you will not go wrong with this Project Zero configuration. If you want to build this yourself, check the link's description down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. A big shout out again to MSI for sponsoring today's video. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye so if you want to get your hands on this very awesome, very limited edition PC and case, you should check out PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOASTYBROS200 to check out. You'll save 2% of your next purchase. And guys, 2% saves you a lot more money than you might think on a gaming PC. Check out the website. See you guys later. Goodbye. Go check for yourself. Check for yourself.